We're going to take a quick look at the new Thermomaster P3 infrared camera. Now this one works with all devices that work with your PC, your laptop, your tablet, your Android phone, and Apple devices. And this is a big improvement over the P2. It's got a lot of new features on it. Let's uh, check it out. So this is a new thermal camera from Thermomaster. It says All OS Focusing Thermal Master Camera. And it will um, has an 8mm macro, so you can get in close. This is the official unboxing. We're going to take this one apart. Well, not take it apart, but open it up and uh, try it out and see how it performs. I know they asked me if I could compare it to the P2. Unfortunately, I no longer have the P2. I sold it a while ago. Companies don't pay for these reviews, so that's how I get paid as I sell them when I'm done. And I also don't make any money off YouTube off these type of videos either. In the box we have probably destruction manual. Yep. A destruction manual, a three year warranty. This is the P3 quick start guide, and there'll be probably some cables in here. There we have a USB to USB C adapter and it's just a USB extension. This is so I guess you can use it with a PC. And the actual camera itself is here. Got a focusable lens on the front. And I thought that was a button, but it's actually not. Comes with also an adapter. This is if you're running on Apple, you can plug the camera into the adapter and then plug that into your lightning or whatever their connector is called on an Apple phone. I'm ignorant for Apple. I have no Apple products here. So, but I do have an Android phone. I found the right app. It's Temp Master. So I'll just install it here and uh, then we should be able to plug the camera in and start to seeing in infrared. Okay, software is installed. Let's plug in the camera and see whether it will detect it. Now this phone's pretty old, so it might not. to give it its permissions. There. It says the camera is detected. Okay. Um, wants to update the firmware. And um, we'll let it download the new firmware to the module. Okay, it looks like the software is updated. Uh, what? Another version? Okay. Camera. Oh, there it is. 
I just got to focus it now. Where's the focus on here? Yeah, that's not too bad. It can see my my transformer. It sees that my hand is hot. So I can plug the camera into the external cable. That way you guys can see the screen and I can focus it on whatever I'm going to be looking at. In this case it's the the transformer, the variable variac transformer. You can see it's putting out a bit of heat. A little bit warmer than other stuff in here. 35 degrees, apparently. That's wild. Uh, that one probably allows me to select yeah, fake colors. So I can invert it so that hot is now dark or black. I can put it in the iron red so anything that's hot appears redder this is red hot and red hot the hottest part of the image is given a red tone rainbow is giving everything a separate color artificial color for temperatures jungle another color palette Aurora so you got all these different colors this one here everything the darker colors are all blue the hotter colors are into the reds and oranges city low light make it look like um, you're dealing with uh, night vision goggles that's what that's giving it the look but it's seeing color or it's seeing uh, heat I should say and everything's got a green a green tinge to it gold you know because there's not just not enough default colors medical oh well, that's that's weird looking isn't it I like psychedelic <laughs> that's uh, kind of freaky actually Notice when I'm breathing, you can see the air temperature changing around my nose. I've only played with this thing for a couple of minutes, and I'm pretty impressed so far. I think I might be keeping this one. Sure, it's not as small as others, but that means it's not as easy to lose. Let's uh, take a look at uh, some practical stuff. So, we've got a real hot stack here going up to the roof. You can see the temperature is like 60 degrees Celsius. That's the hot air going out of the... Uh, the air conditioner going up into the attic and if I point it down at the air conditioner while well, the temperature coming out of the air conditioner air is like seven degrees Celsius coming out of there it's it's it chills pretty good but that's it that's in good old uh, white hot if we reverse it black hot now the black is the hottest side and then we've got all the different colors here iron red oh battery's gonna die on my phone wonderful iron red For the different palettes, there's your low light, just the uh, the hot vent pipe is glowing, lava, and then medical, shows you the different color temperatures. Some of these actually show you more detail. 
like ones like that you can see the ceiling fan you can see the light you can see stuff around here in the shop you can actually see stuff that's in here like boxes and stuff One thing these thermal cameras are good for is troubleshooting electronics. If you've got something that's, say, um, drawing too much current, for example, it will show it as a hot spot when it heats up. So let's just plug this unit in. I'm going to turn it around so we can see the power supply on here. Somewhere down here is the power supply and the regulator. I'm going to plug it in. We should see the uh, parts starting to heat up on here. If I switch modes, maybe make it to one that's a little easier to see parts changing temperature and when I plug this in we should see components starting to warm up then again maybe not yeah we can see some parts over here starting to warm up. The ICs are starting to warm up on it, as you can see. So what this is good for is if there was a short circuit, we would expect to see a trace heating up faster. If I unplug the power, we'll see everything start to cool down again. But this one doesn't have a short circuit, so it's going to be kind of hard to try to, to try to explain or try to show what we would expect to see but I've done other demos before where there's been a defective part and you'll see a trace starting to heat up this unit does have a fault but it doesn't have a fault on the board as far as I know it doesn't it just doesn't play properly one thing that's very good is that it does have very good close-up ability so I can bring the camera in close and I can focus get a good sharp focus on close-ups and I can see that that chip is getting kind of warm if I change to a different uh, color palette green is the hotter than the blue right this gives you an idea of the different color palettes red hot iron red black hot white hot we can see the chip you can see the internal workings of the chip there is warm you see the, the chip on the other side here. Well, this one's warm over here. Where is it? Right here. That must be a regulator or a transistor or something because something's warm on the board there. But having the good close up lens, you can get in close and focus down. This would be good for tracking down SMD components on the board. Get down to within a, a few millimeters of the actual subject that you're looking at, which is uh, pretty impressive because most of them don't. Most of them. You have to be a, you know, a few feet away and adjust the focus back for seeing more distant stuff. Yeah, neat little, neat little unit. They're very useful when you're troubleshooting. They're also very useful for finding where you're, where you might be uh, losing heat, like around uh, windows and so forth. Uh, losing heat, losing uh, heat leaking in for air conditioning. If you point it at the window. Or pointed around the window frame it'll show you where you're losing your heat so they are invaluable and uh, resolution wise on this thing this is excellent you can also take photos and record video on your phone with sound I could record it onto the phone and then show it so say to the client if I was troubleshooting something and say well look at what's happening here when I've powered up this part is getting real hot and my phone's about to die so I'm gonna have to shut it down now because my battery is uh, my, my battery's toast on my phone. I'm going to have to go charge it up. But uh, I just figured I'd give you guys a quick look at the new Thermomaster P3. It uh, is living up to everything that uh, they've claimed. Sensitivity-wise, it's excellent. Uh, you can focus it down real close. I like the, the adjustable focus on the lens. And the resolution of it is actually pretty good. I'll show you the specs. Resolution is 256 by 192 and it uses 12 micron pixels. Measurement range minus 4 Fahrenheit to 302 Fahrenheit, which is minus 20 to 150 Celsius in one range. And in the second range, the high temperature range, 302 to 1112 degrees Fahrenheit. So 150 to 600 degrees Celsius is the second reading. It's accurate to 2 degrees and 2%.
It's his battery life, 300 to 480 minutes. Well, it uses your phone battery, right? So it all depends on how good the battery is in your phone. Mine is getting kind of tired. Photo and video saving functions. That's the specs for it. Pretty easy to use, like all of these little plug and play thermal cameras comes a manual in multiple languages in reality though you really don't need the manual it's plug and play you plug it in you download the app and you go to work I'll put the link in the description thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one